So this drill we're gonna work on is what's called control dribble. It's one of my favorite ball handling drills because you're not just uh, forced to control the ball, but you're also forced to control your body. All right, so instead of coming out here and whipping the ball around and being a little bit out, too out of control, you have to be under control of everything that's involved, which again is, is the ball, but is also including your body. So what's gonna happen is Coach Matthews is gonna be in an athletic stance, nice and wide. He's gonna dribble twice outside of his base, all right? And then he's going to whip the ball, a crossover, but he's gonna stop short of his inside leg. And then he's gonna whip it back. So he's gonna take four dribbles, one, two outside his base, cross, cross, and then he's gonna hop forward and then repeat all the way to half court. So Coach Matthews did a great job of controlling the ball and his body. Obviously you saw that he dribbled outside of his base twice, did two quick crossovers, but more importantly, he did not have any wasted motion. There were no additional steps in there. All he did was did his move and then hopped forward. And as he hopped forward, he stayed on this black line. Again, it's about controlling the ball and controlling your body. So if you wanna make control dribble a little more challenging, you can add to this workout. All right, as long as you're focusing on controlling the ball and controlling your body. So what you're gonna see Coach Matthews do here is still he's gonna dribble twice outside of his base. He's gonna cross over hard and not go past this inside leg. And then he's gonna go between the legs and hop forward. And then he's gonna repeat. All right, now the next step after that is, if you wanna make it a little more challenging again, what you're gonna see Coach Matthews do is dribble twice outside of his base. He's gonna cross over hard, not going past this inside leg. He's gonna go between the legs, behind the back, and cross back over to his starting hand as he hops forward. 